Good morning. Good morning. Eagle Nick Audience. Now today is the eight month anniversary that Eagle Nick has been creating content on YouTube. Eight months ago today, on December the 23rd of 2023, Eagle Nick recorded his first video. How time has flew by. Good morning to everyone. How is everyone doing today? It all started eight months ago today. If you have not already subscribed, please be sure to check out my YouTube channel. Good morning, Miss Eileen. How are you doing this morning? Eagle Nick is doing great. I am pleased to see you in the live stream this morning. Eagle Nick would like to thank everyone who has helped him reach where I'm at today in eight months. Now, Eagle Nick Audit's YouTube channel has seen a phenomenal amount of subscribers in eight months. As of today, I have been blessed to receive 7,000 261 subscribers. And that is all because of awesome people like you, Miss Eileen. Miss Eileen Eagle Nick is genuinely thankful for you and everyone who comes on to my YouTube channel. Good morning or good evening rather pure blood in Australia. How are you doing this evening? Great to see you in this live stream. Good morning, Miss Brooke Cameron. Great to see you again. Eagle Nick is doing awesome. We are celebrating eight months today that Eagle Nick first created content for his YouTube channel. First Cab. First Cab 6869. It is an honor to see you. Thank you for your service. That Tennessee Volunteer State. Eagle Nick is doing awesome. Pure blood. Eagle Nick is celebrating 
eight months today that I have been creating content on my YouTube channel. If you have not already subscribed, please be sure to do so and check out my shorts and my videos. Eagle Nick has been extremely blessed to receive 7,261 subscribers in eight months. That is all because of phenomenal people like you and others. It is a beautiful, beautiful morning. I hope you are all having a very blessed morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you may be. Let's see if, let's see if I can move this over a little bit. Try to get a more. There we go. Good morning, NZ. How you doing this morning? Great to see you. Eagle Nick is having an awesome day so far. Chef Ben made us a good breakfast this morning, a toast. Scrambled eggs and fried bologna. And of course, old Eagle Nick had his Eagle Nick had his chocolate coffee this morning. Two spoons of that there nasty hot chocolate with one spoon of coffee Now, Eagle Nick went up and seen the public defender yesterday to discuss my upcoming court case on September the 16th and September the 30th in the Whitfield County Superior Court for my Class B misdemeanor criminal trespass damage of $500 or less. Them hash browns, biscuits and gravy. Sounds good, Enzy. Now, my Class B misdemeanor criminal trespass damage of $500 or less is usually handled in a lower court, either the probate court or magistrate court. But they are, are charging Eagle Nick audits through the Superior Court, trying me in Superior Court, all because I was exercising my constitutional rights 
at the United States Post Office in downtown Dalton. Eagle Nick never did any damage, and I was never trespassing because I was exercising my First Amendment rights, my Fourth Amendment rights, my Fifth Amendment rights, my Fourteenth Amendment rights, no, ma'am, Miss NZ, Eagle Nick did not vandalize or damage anything at all. Now, criminal trespass damage of $500 or less is a Class B misdemeanor where they usually try those cases in a lower court, either magistrate or probate court, yet they are trying Eagle Nick audits through the Superior Court of Whitfield County, which is for felony cases, but that means Eagle Nick audits will get a jury trial Yes, ma'am, Miss Enzi, Eagle Nick knows that, that that Superior Court is for felony trials, but they have chose to try Eagle Nick through Superior Court, but I will receive a jury trial. Now, the public defender is trying to tell me I'm misinformed on the Constitution, but Eagle Nick knows what the Constitution says. Now, they cannot limit me exercising my constitutional rights. First Amendment protected activity means exactly that, that you are supposed to be protected from arrest and from being fined unless you are committing a crime. Now, criminal trespass, the crime on public property would have to be you actually committed a crime like causing damage. But Eagle Nick never committed any kind of damage whatsoever. All I did was recorded. Now, I was not causing disruptions. I was not interrupting the business. I was not recording members of the public. I stayed off to the side. Well, let me tell you this, Miss Enzi. Every single post office in the United States of America Everybody in the United States of America is free to walk inside a post office 24 hours a day. Now, the lobby where they work is only open during business hours, but the post office itself is never closed. You can go inside and do self-service 24 hours a day. What what is what's too bad, Miss Enzi, is they have cameras everywhere where we are recorded every single day. Yet when we turn a camera back on them to record to make a record of exactly what we see, of exactly what is going on. They do not like it. They are fine with recording us, 
but they do not like to be held accountable for their actions and the way they treat the public. Now, Eagle Nick Audits started doing my audits all because I witnessed a Dalton police officer violating a homeless girl's constitutional rights. Now, you can see that video on my YouTube channel where Miss Helen, Miss Pink, the homeless artist, was stopped by a female Dalton police officer because she had been panhandling, which is a First Amendment protected activity under free speech, where that officer made Miss Helen stop on the sidewalk and come back and talk to her when Georgia does not have a stop and ID law for pedestrians. So unless they see a pedestrian committing a crime, they do not have the legal authority to stop or question anyone walking or riding a bicycle. Yeah, that police officer did so anyway, parked her police cruiser blocking the turning lane. Good morning, Pooh Noah, you old goat roper. Eagle, Nick, Aldis oh, is delighted to see you again. Now, that there female officer blocked a turning lane, causing people to be forced to pull out in a straight travel lane, then try to turn right to go around her. Yes, ma'am, Miss NZ, they do not understand the Constitution. Now, when I did my first audit on the United States Post Office in downtown Dalton, Georgia, they did not have Poster 7 posted, which is a federal regulation. Now, there is a DHS, a Department of Homeland Security memo, that clearly states that every federal building must have poster seven posted. Good morning, Demas. Damas, how you doing this morning? Now, Eagle Nick is drinking some of that there Sam's Cola from Walmart. You know, it's it's a lot cheaper than that there Coca-Cola or Pepsi. But that there Walmart is a real good place to go to find about anything you need. Yes, ma'am, Miss NZ. When I went back, I did my first audit on that United States Post Office in downtown Dalton, Georgia. On February the 9th, they did not have Poster 7 posted. Hello, how you doing, Eagle Nick Audits? 
Thank you, Demas. I appreciate you. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to subscribe. And you can check out all of them there videos from the United States Post Office, the Dalton Police Service Center, the Whitfield County Sheriff's Department, the Whitfield County Courthouse, Dalton, Georgia City Hall, some different interaction with Dalton police officers, and quite a few other places as well. Now, I went back to the United States Post Office in downtown Dalton, Georgia on Valentine's Day, did a surprise visit and took them some roses. Now, they had four copies of Poster 7 posted in only five days. Only three of those were actual business days. They had one on each entrance door, one on the entrance door into the lobby where they actually work, and they had one back there in the display case. Good morning, Leon Musk. How are you doing? No, ma'am, Miss NZ, I do not call ahead and let them know when I'm coming, but, you know, I figured five days after the first audit would have been a surprise because I'm sure they were not expecting to see O Eagle Nick on Valentine's Day. But I can assure you, Miss Enzy, now when I'm going out to do them their audits, they is someone who lets them know that old Eagle Nick is on the way because I'm sure they have quite a lot of lookouts posted so that if they see Eagle Nick audits coming out on his bicycle, they can let them know, say, Y'all better watch out, because here comes old Eagle Nick. Don't be doing anything wrong, because with that camera, he's pretty quick. You know what I mean, Vern? When they see old Eagle Nick out on that there rock, rider bicycle well right now I'm still live at the eagle's nest I ate some breakfast prepared by that there chef Ben we had some scrambled eggs fried bologna and toast and of course eagle Nick had that there hot chocolate coffee as well This is a mailer that Eagle Nick Audits got in the mail. 
While Kamala laughs, Georgians will suffer. We need an experienced leader in the White House. We need President Trump to end inflation, secure the border, get tough on China, stop child indoctrination. Kamala Harris, dangerously liberal. Before she was the most liberal U.S. Senator, Kamala Harris was the most progressive district attorney in all of liberal California. Harris cut deals to let violent criminals off the hook. She refused the death penalty for an MS-13 gang member who murdered a father and his sons. Harris even released a felon who then committed murder and allowed convicted drug dealers to escape deportation. Kamala Harris, dangerously liberal then, dangerously liberal now. You got that exactly right, Miss Enzy. She is a sheep, a wolf in sheep's clothing. They act like they're trying to help the country, but it is all about total control. Now, the Democrats wants the United States public to be dependent on the government for everything, they do not want us to be able to take care of ourselves. That's why they say, oh, we'll pay you everything for you. You know what I mean, Byrne? We'll give you that their free medical care. We're going to forgive them their student loans. Now, all that their money they're paying for all that stuff for comes out of the taxpayers' pockets. Because you have to realize our government does not have any money that belongs to them. It all comes from the American taxpayer. Our government wants to control what you eat, when you eat it, where you go, what you do. It's like Oliver Anthony said in his song, Rich Men North of Richmond. Now, if you've never heard Oliver Anthony, be sure to check him out on YouTube. They want to know where you go, what you do, what you think, and everything. Now, it is not just like that in the United States of America. It is like that all over the world. All of our government seeks to control us, to know where we are going, to know what we are doing. They want to know who you talk to on the phone. They want to know what you had for breakfast, had for lunch, and had for dinner. They want to know everything about you so they can have total, total control over you.
Now, old Eagle Nick would have to say like Donald John Trump said for over 30 years before he actually ran for president in 2016 that I would not have the job, but this country needs a great president who will put the United States of America first. I am in Dalton, Georgia, the carpet capital of the world. Now, oh, Eagle Nick, oh, this is not super educated. I did get one of them there edumocations. But I've learned to open my eyes and not just believe what they tell us to believe. We all have eyes to see and ears to hear. It is time to stop listening to what our government is telling us is really happening. Use your own eyes and your own ears and you will see for yourself that this is all a distraction to keep you from being informed what is going on around you. It's like they're saying, oh, there's nothing to see here. Move along. Yep, there is always somebody listening. You know, I can tell my phone, thank you, Miss Enzy, for that $2 super thanks. Now, Eagle Nick thinks that you are super. That's why Eagle Nick does not ask people to use them supers. I let it be at people's own decisions. Now, Eagle Nick does not most times even let people know that I have them. I'm sure it shows up that I have the super thanks, the super chats, and the super stickers. But Eagle Nick thinks that y'all are the ones who are super No, I, I don't believe that they are going to tell you the truth about them their UFO takes. Because Eagle Nick can tell you now there is no such thing as extraterrestrials from outer space. Them are them their spiritual beings who left over watching man that the Bible tells about. It does not go into great detail about it in the canon of the Bible we got today, but if you would check out the book of Enoch, you would find a whole lot more about what is going on. Now, the devil, Lucifer, is called the prince of the power of the air. That is where our technology has came from, is that our spiritual realm. Yeah, they left a lot of stuff. They don't want, they don't want people to know about the book of Enoch. Bray Dub Webb, good morning, good morning. Eagle Nick gets up every morning, long time before now. What you talking about? It is 8.45. 
Now, Eagle Nick Audits has been up since 6 a.m., about two hours and 45 minutes. You know what I mean, Burn? <laughs> now, see, a lot of people do not understand about that there Mr. Enoch in the Bible. The Holy Bible, the King James Version, says that Enoch walked with God and then he was not. Now, Enoch never died. He was translated, taken up to heaven as was the prophet Elijah. That is how Eagle Nick Audits knows that Elijah and Enoch will be those two witnesses it talks about in the book of Revelation who will come back at the end times when the earth is going through those seven years of tribulation because the Bible says for it is appointed unto men once to die but after this the judgment now with without saying anything more Elijah and Enoch are the only two people in the history that is said in the Bible to have not faced a physical death. Study to shew thyself approved unto God a workman that needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the way, rightly dividing the truth. Now, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And the Bible also states that there is no other name given under heaven whereby a man might be saved other than Jesus Christ, Lord of lords and kings of kings, and every eye shall see him, even those who pierced him. The Bible also says, For every knee shall bow, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord of all. The local police department in Dalton, Georgia is corrupt. They are the ones who is causing Eagle Nick audits to have to be going to that their Class B misdemeanor criminal trespass damage of $500 or less. It is all a retaliatory tactic because of my videos and my live streams at the Dalton Police Service Center. Now, the Bible says in the book of Revelation, and pay close attention and heed these words. It says in the book of Revelation, and those whose names were not found written in the Lamb's book of life from the foundation of the world were cast into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. 
Now that there outer darkness is all because you will be forever cut off from the love and the presence of our Creator because Jesus Christ is the light of the world and the light shined in the darkness. But people wishes to remain in the dark. There is nothing done in the darkness that shall not be brought to the light. Good morning, Cure. How you doing this morning, brother? Eagle Nick Audits does not have to shut up. I appreciate you coming on to my YouTube channel. If you do not want to hear the truth, the door opens up the same way going out as it did coming in. I believe you are referring to two of them there most famous giants, Pooh Noah, who was destroyed with the Great Flood. Aniki and Inali were the two giants who were causing the most trouble before the Lord destroyed everything off the face of the earth with breath in its body with the great flood. Now, a lot of people do not know this, but Noah was Enoch's grandfather. Enoch was the seventh son of Adam. Miss Enzy, we all can do what we want. That is why we have free will. We all have the choice to decide for ourselves. You know, we all have the choice of whether or not we believe in the Creator. But there will be consequences for what we decide to believe. Good morning, JD187. Great to see you again. Eagle Nick would like to give a hearty good morning to Miss Bella and Miss Amari as well. Good morning, John. Love that there cross on your profile picture there. But, now the Bible says that thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Jesus said, if you believe in the Father, that you have to believe in him also. For God said, let us create man in our image after our likeness. It's no laughing matter for Georgia.
Jesus said when we to pray, we are to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever amen Because it means surely, amen, amen means for sure, surely. Now, let me tell you this about them their cancer drugs. I believe they actually have a cure for cancer, but there is more money to be made treating cancer than there is curing cancer. You know what I mean? Look in the very back of the book of Revelation, Pooh Noah, where it says, Jesus says, surely I come quickly. And John says, who is on the Isle of Patmos, says, surely come quickly. Amen. It is in the very end of the book of Revelation. Jesus says himself in the very end of Revelation, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Now, amen means for certain, for sure. Yes, sir, John. Make sure to check out Eagle Nick Audits on YouTube. You are welcome to go to my channel at any time. I would appreciate the subscribe.
because a man, a man means for sure. You know what you're saying is for sure. You are supposed to pray in faith. And by stating that means for sure. Yes, sir, John. Who knows? The Bible says that that God would send strong delusion that the people who have trouble believing would believe a lie rather than believe in the truth. Now, Jesus Christ is the truth, whether anyone wants to believe it or not. Yes, John, what, what can I do for you, brother? Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. Now, Eagle Nick would like to tell everyone that you better prepare because this world is headed into some very dark days. Now, the Bible says when we pray not to pray out loud in front of other men so that what we do in secret, only God hears. Now, Miss Enzy, if you would comment on one of my shorts or my videos on my YouTube channel, I would be delighted to check out your YouTube channel. I cannot get to your channel from the live stream. If, the, if you post a link in the live stream and I click on it, it ends the live stream. But if you would be sure to leave me a comment on one of my shorts or one of my regular videos on my YouTube channel, I would be delighted to check out your YouTube channel as well. Yeah, the thing about them there fast food prices, the prices keep going up, but the service does not get any better. John, I know what you mean, brother. Now, Eagle Nick is married. I have been married since 2007, but my wife passed away in 2019. My father passed away in 1979. Six days before he passed away, my oldest brother passed away. He, who was only 28 years old at the time. My mother passed away in 2021. My wife passed away in 2019. My other oldest brother passed away in 2022. I had a niece who passed away in 2021. Now, Eagle Nick knows about that, their grief, and about that, their loss. Now, Jesus said, Come unto me, all ye who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. 
pray to your Creator. Pray to our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. You do not have to have someone else pray for you because the Bible says that our Creator knew us before we were ever even conceived. Now, as I said, it states in the book of Revelation, and those whose names were not found written in the Lamb's book of life from the foundation of the world were cast into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. So that tells us that our Creator knew before He ever created anything how it would turn out. But He loved us all so much that he created us anyway. Now, when Adam and Eve had sinned against God, God could have wiped the slate clean and created man anew without sin. But you must understand, when God created man, he took man from the dust of the ground and created a body. Then he breathed the breath of life into that body and man became a living soul. Whereby God imparted his spirit into the body of man which made him a living soul. You are welcome here, John. I love everyone the same. I did not say that you were not welcome here. I'm just trying to explain to you that you do not have to have someone else pray for you. God is always listening. God is omnipresent. He is everywhere at one time. He is omnipowerful. He has all power. You are very, very welcome here, John. Anytime. That is why the devil hates us all, mankind, so much. Because when Lucifer sinned against God, he was cast from God's presence. But when man sinned against God, we were given a second chance. We were actually given more than a second chance. Now, when the Bible talks about, and their eyes were opened, and they saw that they were naked, that they hid themselves behind fig leaves. Now, God slaughtered an animal and placed the skin of that animal on them to hide their nakedness. Now, there was no covering of their nakedness without the shedding of blood. That is the same way with sin. Sin is only forgiven by the shedding of Jesus Christ's blood who died for the sins of all mankind. Now, when the Bible says man, it is not just talking about a male, but a female as well. Because as you hear in the word female, woman, and women, that there is man, men, and male in those words. That is because woman came from man before a woman ever gave birth 
to a male or a female child. Yes, yes, ma'am, that is the second time I've caught one of them vehicles parked on that there sidewalk. Now, you can check out the live stream I did after I left from inside talking to the public defender's office, and you will see that that same vehicle is parked over there to the side and is not parked on the sidewalk. John, the devil, is a liar and the father of all lies. He is like a raging lion who walks about seeking whom he may devour because he knows that his time is short. And you must realize he does that from a spiritual realm. He is not actually on the earth. You have to remember, God is good all the time because all the time God is good. There is no evil in the Lord. There is no shadow of turning with our Creator. God cannot be in the presence of sin because He is a most holy God. Now, we must worship our Creator in spirit and in truth. We must live the way we are supposed to live. Jesus said to take up his cross, to die unto ourselves, and live our lives as he would live it. I'm afraid you are misinformed, Miss Enzi. The Lord did not create evil. The first sin, the actual sin, was Lucifer's pride because Lucifer was the most beautiful angel that God had created. Now, Lucifer let his beauty corrupt his heart because he was the most beautiful angel created. You must realize that God created the heavens and the earth at the same time. He created them spiritual beings before he created man. He created earth and everything on the earth before he created man. He created man last. Now, he created man for his glory, for us to be in his presence, to have communion with him, to walk and talk with him daily. As Adam and Eve did in the Garden of Eden until sin entered into the world. Now, the woman was deceived by the serpent who beguiled her to eat of the forbidden fruit of the not tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Now, the devil is a liar and says that he loves us, but if the devil loved man, he would have got Eve to eat of the tree of life, which would have allowed man to live forever. But the devil hates man because God loves us so much that he would allow his son to take on the form of man whom he created, then allow man to kill his own son.
Good morning, Bella the Great. How you doing this morning? Yes, sir, John. How you doing? That is exactly right, Enzy. He knew what would happen before he ever created anything. That is how much of a loving God we have. That is what I said, that it says, and those whose names were not found written in the Lamb's book of life from the foundation of the world were cast into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. The Creator knew what would happen before He ever created us. But He loved us so much that He created us anyway. Now, like I said, when man sinned against God, God could have wiped the slate clean and made man anew. You got to realize everything on the earth, every creature, the water, the trees, the creeping and crawling insects, all of them, their creatures he created, all wildlife, all birds, the sun, the moon, and the stars were all created just by him speaking it into existence the same way all of the spiritual beings were created all of the angels all of the watchers who watch over mankind they were created just by the lord speaking them into existence Yet the Creator took from the earth that he had created and formed a body and breathed life into that body, thereby imparting his spirit into man. That is why Lucifer hates man so much. Good morning. C.G. Rooster, L.L.C., Eagle, Nick, oh, Nick, you know what I mean, Vern. Nope, it's Vern, V-E-R-N. Now, that is that their character created by none other than Mr. Jim Varney. Better known, better known as Ernest. Well, I found that little guitar in the trash over there at a car wash one day when I was searching for aluminum cans. Now, I cut that there picture of the eagle out of a newspaper. But that little guitar signifies that Eagle Nick Audix likes to do a little singing, even though I'm not all that good. Yeah, be sure to check out uh, Ernest, Ernest Saves Christmas. Here is that dark can of chicken noodle soup. Everybody say hello to that dark can of chicken noodle soup. And see, that, that is what I propped the phone up with right here. That can of chicken noodle soup is what holds that dark phone up for Eagle Nick Audix.
Well, the last time I checked, they were 60-something cents a pound in Dalton, Georgia. At one time, they had got up to a dollar and 25 cents a pound. Yeah, see, I've actually got two phones, and when I do two phones, I've got a can of cream of mushroom. Now, I use this can to hold up that there other phone. Tasty kitchen cream of mushroom. Now, when Mr. Alan Davis gets up, and just like Alan Davis and that Mr. Pooh Noah, they enjoy that their frosted flakes because they're great. You know what I mean, Vern? They make sure to pack a bowl every morning because them their frosted flakes are great. Make sure you go out and get you some of them their Kellogg's frosted flakes. Now, you can get them at that there Walmart. Well, old Eagle Nick actually ate that there can of beanie weenies, so I don't have it no more. Now, people say, oh, Eagle Nick audience, it's just an oh, uneducated, stinking hillbilly. But Eagle Nick would like, like to let you know I did get that there GED in 1993. And I also do not stink because I use that there degree 48 hour extreme blast. And I also use that their bod man body spray. This here is the most wanted. I guess it fits if you know what I mean, Vern. Most wanted. And old Eagle Nick likes that there Aspen cologne. Now, they call it perfume, but I call it cologne. You know what I mean, Vern? Now, this here is some good stuff. This makes old Eagle Nick smell like a good-smelling hillbilly, if you know what I mean. Now, this here is Eagle Nick out its shorts. You see, it's got dueling eagles on it. It says Army. Yeah, I got that thar little guitar, but I don't have one of them thar banjos.
Now, those are just a few of the bales that my mother collected. When my mother passed away, I gave a bunch of my family members them little bales so that we could have them at the funeral service. Now, Eagle Nick kept one that had an eagle on it, but I do believe I gave it to somebody at the funeral home who didn't have a bell. Now, Miss Patty LaBelle sang a song, You Can Ring My Bell, Ring My Bell, My Bell, Ring a Ling a Ling a Ling a Ring My Bell, Ring My Bell. Yes, sir, John. I'm sorry. What's up? I think it was Patty LaBelle. Now, it might have been a need award at the start with. I uh, start with. There ain't no telling there, CG Rooster LLC. I get all kind of them there foul mouths come in. The other evening on one of them there live streams, we had a big angry Daryl in here. Thank you so much for join, joining us, NZ. I appreciate you, and I will be sure to check out your YouTube channel, and we, I will subscribe. I pray that you have a blessed morning, afternoon, or evening, and it was great to talk to you, and I thank you so much. You are welcome to come back anytime. Love you, too. You have a blessed day. Now, John, it should not matter if a person has a handicap. My brother, who passed away in 2022, was a double amputee. He had got both of his legs cut off right below the knees in 1975 in a car accident. I can assure you that people who do not like somebody because they are handicapped, it is not because they are handicapped. It is just because those type of people do not have any compassion for anybody at all. Now, Jesus said that we are to love one another, that we are to treat 
all people the same. Now, I love everybody the same. It does not matter the color of your skin or the financial situation you happen to be in. John, I told you, you are welcome any time at all, brother. It does not matter how old you are or if you have a disability. You are always welcome. You know what I mean. Eagle Nick is delighted to see you in the live stream and any time that you would like to leave me a comment on any of my shorts or my videos, please be sure to do so. Now, Eagle Nick would like to ask everybody, when you watch my shorts, my videos, and my past live streams, if you would to please let those, let those ads play so that Eagle Nick Audits can receive a few pennies every day that is paid through YouTube by the advertisers. Hello, Pix. How you doing? Glad to see you. The first time I think I've ever seen you. And if you haven't done so already, please be sure to subscribe. Let Eagle Nick assure you, John, you are not a burden. You are always welcome. Hey, that is awesome, Pix. I'm glad to see you. I believe this is the first time I've ever seen you on one of my live streams. Thank you so much, Bella the Great. I really and truly appreciate that. Eagle Nick Audits loves everybody the same. It does not matter the color of your skin or your name. We were all created in the image of our maker. Oh, I like mustard on my biscuits. No, I don't really do too many of them, their impressions. Now, I have some people that say I sound like Bobby Hill off King of the Hill. I've had people say I sound like, like that there Larry the Cable Guy, Tomater from that there Cars movies. Eagle Nick loves to see interaction between other people in the live streams. We should always make everybody feel welcome. We all have basic human rights, no matter which country you live in, no matter the color of your skin. Eagle Nick loves you all. 
I thank everyone who comes on to my YouTube channel, everyone who comes on to my live streams. Nope, I'm in Dalton, Georgia, D-A-L-T-O-N, Georgia, but as, as us hillbillies calls it, Georgia, I'm in the carpet capital of the world. All my exes live in Texas. That's why I hang my hat in Tennessee. Yeah, there's a lot of people thinks that old Eagle Nick oh, this is a Texan, but I am a Georgian through and through. I am just a hillbilly. Now, I do not try to change that. Well, welcome to you, John, from Lexington, North Carolina. Now, I never knew there was a Lexington, North Carolina. I knew there was a Lexington, Kentucky, which I have been through quite a few times. I've been to Murphy, North Carolina, Cherokee, North Carolina, but I do not believe I've ever been through Lexington, now, I have been from, been to, rather, Picking, South Carolina, Portsmouth, England. Cool, cool. Now, we just hit one hour and 31 minutes on here, so I guess I'm going to go ahead and end this live stream. I appreciate everybody coming into the live stream. I pray that you all have a very blessed morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you may be. Take care of yourselves, but take care of each other. And when you meet somebody new, try not to treat them like a stranger, but more like a sister or a brother. We are all created equal in the eyes of our maker. If you see anyone who looks like they may be hurting, please don't just pass them by. Don't turn a deaf ear or a blind eye because you never, never know when that person could wind up being you when you are totally lost and all alone and just don't know what to do. It could be you or someone you love or just hold dear who needs help and their words falls on a deaf ear. Eagle Nick. Oh, this.
I am Eagle Nick. I love you, John. I love you all. Take care of yourselves. No, sir, John. It's just time for me to end the live stream. I really and truly appreciate you. Please don't think that. It was an honor for Eagle Nick Audits to see you here, and I love you. And thank you for being here. I pray that you have an extremely blessed day. And those fears and hurt you feel inside will soon go away. Call on our creator. Don't trust in man. The creator can help you, and I'm sure that he can. I am Eagle Nick. That's okay, J.D., you have a blessed day, J.D., Miss Amari and Miss Bella. I appreciate you all and pray that you all have an awesome, blessed day. And one more time, oh, Eagle Nick is going to say, Eagle Nick, oh, I am Eagle Nick. And I'm out.